Hello me TBDs, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be testing out a brand new Sephora Favorites lip sampler. This has some really popular brands in it that I am just dying to test out. I've heard so many good things, particularly about a few of them. So I cannot wait to dive in. I have my lip liners here that I'm gonna be adding underneath just to give a little bit of color and then add these on top. We're gonna test them out, see what my first impression is of the product. I'm also gonna be wearing these more and more throughout the next couple of weeks so I can really tell you guys my full thoughts on them. But today we're gonna be trying them out, seeing how they apply on the lips, seeing which one I think is the clear winner in this kit because you do get five different lip gloss samples. So if you're enjoying the video while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So if you know me, I'm not a lip person, but you know what? I feel like the last couple of months I have become a lip person, <laughs> like a lipstick or a lip gloss or whatever, you, you know. All right, cool. My hair is going everywhere. I curled it this morning, but now it's just it's having a mind of its own and doing its own thing, but it's fine. So again, here is a close up of the products. This product retails for $29. Apparently it is a $84 value if you bought every single one of these, like at full size. Now the cool thing about this is you do get two products that are full size, which my understanding is that if you bought both of these full size products anyway, it would pay for this lip sampler, but you get five different products. You get the Too Faced Lip injection extreme which kind of scares me we get the fenty beauty gloss bomb which i am pumped about we get the lancome juicy tubes i remember this back in the day i don't think this is a new product you get the nars afterglow lip balm in the shade orgasm and you get the patrick ta major lip shine and she is expensive i am dying to try out the fenty beauty gloss bomb the nars lip balm and the patrick ta product oh my goodness I've tried nothing from Patrick Ta, so this is my first experience with the line. It says, find your perfect shine with these five must-have lip products. This set includes a mix of full-size and deluxe glosses to keep your lips shiny and plumped. Yeah, the Too Faced one really scares me because anytime it says like lip injection or lip plumper, I just know it's going to burn. It's going to do those burny things and I don't like that. <laughs> okay, how do you get this out? What is this? Where is a... This thing. Ha ha. All right, here are all of the glosses. Whoa. That Patrick Tall one looks like diamonds. <laughs> These are all the products. Again, here's the Fenty one that is full size and the NARS one that is full size. All of these products just have such great packaging, especially these three in the middle. I really think these are like the star of the show of the kits. <laughs> Cause look at that packaging. It's so reflective. It's gonna get fingerprints on it real fast, but it's fine. The Lancome one looks nice. This Too Faced Lip Injection, I think this is just meant to make your lips look fuller. I do not want this one to be the last one that I try, that I wear for the day. I think I want this one, the Fenty one, to be the one that I wear for the day. I have never really got a sampler kit like this before. I, I don't know, I just don't really go for them because a lot of them are skincare, I notice, and so I like already have my skincare down, so I don't really need to try more, you know? Cool, the Fenty one looks really interesting. Look at that, oh my. I think I'm going to start with the Too Faced Lip Injections. Let's just get it over with, pull the Band-Aid off. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this one. It just, I don't know, everything it scares me when people like try these products and then guess what? Their lips are on fire. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This does not last a super long time on my lips, but I'm just using it because it is the closest shade to my actual lip color. Have you guys heard Taylor Swift's new album, Folklore? Mm -hmm. If you haven't, you should go listen to it because it is brilliant. It is so good. It totally fits the mood for this quarantine, chill kind of time that we're living in. There are actually five different shades of this. I have the clear one, but they do have a light pink, a bright apricot, a cherry red, and a fluorescent pink also. So this doesn't just come in a clear like it is now. Go ahead and try it out. You scare me. Oh, you smell like fruits, yummy fruits. Right now it has 3.7 stars. It says that it is an, in, an instant and long-term results lip pump, plumping gloss. I'm, I'm not scared of you. Here it is. It's not stinging. 
<laughs> Hopefully not yet. It does feel very slippy and comfortable on the lips. It feels really nice. Right now it's not tingly or it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Let's see what some of the reviews say about this one. There's like a lot of mixed reviews. I am noticing a little bit of stinging. Just throwing that out there. I've had it on now for a few minutes. Ooh, no. Ooh, it's stinging, no. <laughs> this hurts me. It didn't sting very much when I first put it on. Now it hurts. I'm like almost gonna cry because it hurts. I have to take this off. <gasps> no. Mm -mm. No. Okay, my lips probably look fuller because they're starting to just hurt like really bad. It's almost like I can't touch my lips together because they hurt so much. They're hurting as I'm talking to you. It's almost distracting how much it's hurting. Let's just zoom in extra real fast so you guys can really see if this is working. All right, this is as close up as I can get. So what do we think? It hurts talking. It's very pretty, like I really like the shine, but it is stinging so bad that it just is uncomfortable, distracting. I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to say words because it is so uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this off. I had a feeling that this wasn't for me and I really know it's not for me. It off. I don't want you. My lips are red because of you. Look at my lips. Okay, well, they're plumped. They feel swollen and I don't like this feeling. Can you see how red they are? That is not something that I wish for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to move on to a different, a better one. I can't do the singing even as it's wiped off. I still feel it on my lips. Moving on, they may be a, like a little bit more plump, but it just wasn't worth it to get them there. So let's go ahead and try the next one. Kind of cover the redness with this lip liner here. All right, moving on. Let's try, I'm gonna save like the best three for last. I'm gonna try the Lancome Juicy Tubes Original. So this product originally is $20. I have the shade Magic Spell, which is a sheer magenta with silver sparkle. I did not tell you how much the lip injection one was because you just shouldn't buy it. <laughs> it's $29 not worth it. I remember having this so long ago in like middle and high school. I wonder if the formula has changed at all. It's definitely not as glossy. It's not as slippy as the Too Faced one. It's definitely more sticky. And I can just tell that this one is, like the formula is eh, it's kind of sticky and noticeable and a little bit heavy on the lips. I do like the color, it's pretty. You can see kind of the little gold sparkles in it. I don't know, I probably wouldn't wear this one a whole lot just cause it, I feel like it's a little dark for what I normally wear. I've only worn it for a few minutes, so I just have to kind of give it a shot and actually wear it for a day or so to really know my thoughts. But right off the bat, it just feels kind of heavy and sticky and like nothing amazing. It's not bad. I just have other lip glosses and stuff that I like more that's a better formula. My poor lips, <laughs> I'm just gonna be fried after this. And now that my lips are like so red, this color actually originally matches my lip color normally. But now that they're so red from the Too Faced one, they are like, it looks like it's doling down my lip color because my lips are so bright red right now. Now my last three that I'm really excited about and I just, I really wanna try. So let's go ahead and try the NARS. This is again, a full size. It's so pretty, it's so reflective. This is the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Orgasm. This product is originally $28. So this alone is $1 short of how much you pay for all of these products, which actually is a very good deal. This comes in seven shades. I don't remember how many the Lancome comes in, but again, I have the shade Orgasm. It's described as the peachy pink with golden shimmer. And again, this is a lip balm, not a gloss. That's what it looks like. It's so pretty. NARS packaging is just amazing. Let's go ahead and try it. Mmm, smells good too. Do you see what's happening? Oh no. Stop. That feels nice, girl. Okay, I might not use it with the lip liner on next time just because I got the lip liner kind of all over it, but this is really pretty. This feels so buttery and really nice, and it still gives you that shine that the other ones do, but it just feels better. It doesn't feel sticky at all. Definitely a lip balm that I could get on board with wearing, and it just adds a little bit of color to the lips. 
Yeah, this is super pretty. I do really like this. I love how it feels on the lips. I can't wait to wear it again and really give it a chance like all day to see how it does. Rubbing my lips together, it's not, it doesn't feel like they're catching when I'm talking sometimes when you wear a lip gloss and it's so sticky. It feels like when you like this, you just, you cannot part your lips. This is super easy, super buttery. You can tell that it is going to hydrate your lips. I don't know how much it's gonna hydrate your lips. I mean, it's still like a tinted lip color thing. It's not like an aquaphor that's more like a lip mask, but it feels very comfortable on the lips. I would definitely wear this again. I really like that it is so shiny, even though it's just a lip balm. It's making me really want to try out that new Fenty lip balm also. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on that because I've seen a lot of great reviews on that, but it seems kind of similar, but I really like this. It's very comfortable. I really feel like maybe they threw in the Too Faced one just because they felt bad that it was not getting great reviews and then they're just just like put it in something that everything else is gonna make it look better. Really like that. Right now I would rate Too Faced for sure at the bottom, then Lancome, and then this is like near the front for sure. Let's go ahead, let's try the Patrick Ta. This looks so gorgeous. I can't even tell you how pretty it is. It comes in this beautiful packaging. I, I would 100% buy the full size one if it's pretty good. Again, this is the Major Lip Shine in the shade She's Expensive. It is described as a crystal pearl. There are three shades and originally this is $22. So there's a bright peachy pearl and then there is a pink pearl which is called She's an Influencer. I would probably go for the She's an Influencer. It's just a little more pink than this one but I am on board. Let's just see. The glitters like the crystals in here look so beautiful and it's not like a clear one like the Too Faced one is. It actually looks a little bit more champagne. Oh look at the doe foot. Ooh, what does that smell like? Yummy, warm. It has a definitely has a scent. Now this is a nice lip gloss. So reflective, it feels so high end and nice on the lips. Okay, I really like this one. This is definitely a contender for number one. It's definitely more slippy than the NARS one because the NARS, is it's a lip balm, so it's gonna be a little bit more buttery and nourishing. But as a lip gloss, this comes to slay. <laughs> Something about this is so reflective. It's so pretty. It could go on top of anything really just because of the color that it is. Feels very nice. It feels a little bit minty on the lips. Okay, why does Sephora crash? Every time I leave the app, it just like goes away. Like I'm not done with you yet. This right now has four and a half stars. It says that it has an advanced gel system that creates a glass-like finish a high shine oil blend that gives it a balmy feeling and then an emollient blend to give even coverage and comfort. It says it has moisturizing oils and vitamin E in it. Definitely looks glassy, very, very glassy. Feels so comfortable on the lips. I think it looks really nice. And yeah, I would, I would totally wear this around. I think it's very flattering. We're getting to like the really good ones here, you guys. Ooh, and even like taking it off, look how pigmented that was. So it's a thick, it's a thick lip gloss, but it doesn't feel sticky or too heavy, but it feels like it's going to last on your lips. It's not super slippy where it feels like you're gonna eat something and it's gonna come right off. So pretty. I really, really love the sparkles in here. It just, something about this is so different from other lip glosses that I've tried. Last one, the one I'm most excited about, and it looks the darkest. Okay, this is the shade Fussy. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fluff, fl <laughs> Fluffy. Fussy. This is $19 and it comes in six different shades. Fussy is described as a shimmering pink. It looks a little darker in person. I would probably go for a shimmering soft pink. That's called Sweet Mouth. But this is looks really good too. We're gonna have to see how it applies. I love the packaging. It's got this like hexagonal thing going on. Whoa, look at this doe foot. It's like the Tarte Shape Tape up in here. That smells good. Oh. Oh, got too much there. So this for sure has more pigment than the Patrick Ta one. So my lips do look a little darker. 
I'm not mad about it. This feels so nice. It's a little bit more slippy than the Patrick Ta one. I can see why people really love it because it's very, very good. Uh, this looks like glass on your lips and it feels really nice and lightweight. It feels like it might be not as long lasting as the Patrick Ta one just because the Patrick Ta one is a little thicker, but I really love the color of this. Like I thought it was gonna be too dark, but it actually looks so nice. Both of these, all three of these are great products and you should buy the kit just for those three, but especially for these two, the Patrick Ta and the Fenty one are just out of this world. Makes your lips look so glassy. It feels so comfortable on the lips. If you want more of a champagne nude look, maybe you could use this one. And then if you want more of a pigmented gloss, you could go for here. But this is so pretty and all of these are really flattering, I think on any skin tone. But I'd say for sure the winners of this kit are the Fenty Beauty, the Patrick Ta, and if you're looking for a lip balm, the NARS is really nice as well. But I'm gonna go, let's swatch them. Let's just swatch them side by side so we can get an idea of what these look like. I think I'm gonna wear the Fenty one and the Patrick Ta and the NARS one the most, but ultimately the Fenty and the Patrick Ta one. I'm not gonna swatch you. You are bad. <laughs> and it would be clear anyway, so. Here is the Lancome. Let's start down here. I can't believe this one is not a full-size gloss. It looks like a full-size gloss. There is the Lancome one on my hand. As you can see, it's got a little pigment to it. A little bit more raspberry-y. Let's do the NARS one next. Gosh, this NARS one is just butter. There we have the NARS one, definitely more peachy pink than the Lancome one. And let's go Patrick Ta. I really wanna try more from this brand. Okay, it's totally clear. However, you can see like little, little sparkles of blue and purple and pink and so pretty. There you go, that is the Patrick Ta one. Again, it's clear, but hopefully you can see the little glitters in it. Then we have the Fenty one that I'm wearing. There we go. Fenty one on top. Looking at this, the NARS one is definitely the brightest color. Then it goes Fenty and then the deepest one is the Lancome one. But they're all really pretty, really, really pretty. The Fenty one's not nearly as sparkly as the Lancome one is, but I think I like the way it looks better on the lips. So let's talk, is it worth it? I would say yes. If you don't know what kind of lip gloss formula you like, what brands you like, I would say get a kit like this because you're gonna pay the same amount as just one product, but you get a sample, like you get to choose from a few like I did and you know test out which ones you like the most. And in terms of packaging, I mean, you can't beat this packaging. Like look how pretty that is. So I would say definitely get it. These two, I would say were like the duds of the kit, but I'd still purchase it again just for the three that I think are worth it. But yeah, I really, really like all three of these. I'm gonna be for sure wearing these going forward a bunch because they all just feel so nice on the lips. So buttery, so smooth, so lightweight, not sticky at all. I love that. And yeah, I'm really, really happy that I was able to review this because if not, I wouldn't have been able to try all these brands and find out that I really love Patrick Ta and Fenty Beauty lip glosses. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have tried this kit, let me know that down in the comments. What are your thoughts? What's your favorite? Have you tried the Too Faced one? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna not ever use you again. <laughs> and if there's any other kits that I should get, cause really this is the first one I've ever bought and I'd be curious to try other ones too cause maybe they have some like fan favorites in them kind of like this one too with a little bit of duds, which I'm okay with. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.